Welcome, Samurais. Welcome back to another episode of GWT Goons. So after the last episode that we just finished one mission that we supposed to get the the spiders, the tech spiders, whatever you call it, and now we going to see what happened. We could, we just met up with Jackie, and uh, maybe we got another mission from the the fat black guy. Mentioned something about a surprise. Of course, name. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, cause you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass job. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as All right, that. now I remember. So after that mission, so we supposed to get back to the, the sort of like a main main mission. City. So it's like getting the spider. Badass it's like it's still part of the main mission, but it's like a side mission to get to the main mission. So. Um, I guess we finally doing this. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but you know, old deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Yes, I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. You haven't even touched the soup. You haven't even finished the noodles. Come on, man. Stop, Stop raising food. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Oh, nice. He finally can drive my car. The first time driving. First time driving. Driving experience. Let's feel this factory new ride. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Evan, Evan is watching. Evan is watching. I don't know where. <laughs> Look at the view. Pretty damn good. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Chica. Easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Yeah, right. I'm just kidding. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. I the back of the car is like so dirty as mothers everywhere. Smash. It's, it's not as bad. It's like, you know, the. The driving speed yeah, is, is not as bad as. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex did, is cooked what? up. What? What? <laughs> did, did I just. Did someone just like. Suicide or. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, so yeah, going back, it's like. The driving experience wasn't that as bad as, you know. Um, I remember the first time experience you know, driving in GTA 5. It was it's kind of it's kind of similar, but I think this is much more a little bit harder to to drive maybe. Maybe because the different cars different way to drive it, maybe. I don't know yet, but it's uh, yeah. 
Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... Right, so where's this doctor? Why, why am I... Why, why is it like, you know... The office is like... Across... Another... Another places. What? Oh, <laughs> is there a kid? Is there a kid holding a gun? It's just so bizarre. It's just like what? Well, that's good. Maybe you can get an upgrade before you start a mission. That's amazing. Nice. Oh shit! I actually I don't think I have enough money for any upgrade. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. All right, let's go, Doc. Let's see what we got. Kuroshi Optics, best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. I don't know if it's just me, but like every time like, if someone says Jack in, it sounds like, it sounds like, mm. sounds like it could come maybe I'm watching too much of those uh, my word, I pay you back, but this fiction movie. Might be too rich for my blood. That talking about like, you know, we'll work injection right now, and it's like just out to make sure you get virus back in one piece. and all this stuff. Pitties in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. You have to watch out for negative energy fields. Right, so after seeing the dog, now we went back to see Jackie, and his lover. And uh, I think the next one is probably going to see Dak. The, the black, the fat, the fat black guy, the boss to kind of understand a little bit more of what's going on with that, that mission, you know, the one that's going to be the big lead, as they call it, as we call it. So, let's go. Been with Misty a while, huh? Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Never thought you'd last that long in a stable, healthy relationship. Hey, come on, chica. You know I was raised right. How's your mom? Shh. Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there. Waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, chica. She can see that. Hey, how well do you know Buck exactly? That mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you know a lot about this mission, anyway. really. Or anybody. Right. But you are not the masters of your memory. All right, let's go meet Dexter. All right, shit, no, wrong though. Are you fucking blind, guy? Yo, Yo Dex basically is Rick Ross. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. <laughs> Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory? I mean, based like on my persona, definitely I would choose something like living a short life, but living a luxury, high-end life, for sure. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple you. Respect. No. no way. Sorry, I, I can't. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. 
plain gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss Right, the I first mission just work. goes first straight to the afterlife. main boss. Besides that, I'm no lead High reward. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow. Also, we high do this risk and all too. Damn. We understand each other. You work this out. Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because that's a really leader. cool intro to show end, like the missions and the information and Randall, of like oh, some main in. characters or like Royce those people need to pay and attention. No and and that's pretty cool. Actually, I like that a lot. Word. To add to the shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Mm -hmm. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport, got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Miss V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. 
There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So... How you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hey, you with me, Chica? Say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Just around. Hasta luego. I call now we at the fun gate talk? of meeting those Look beast hey, people. I think that's a cool bite. Look at that. Work together before Dex took his break. So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Buy it off? Doubt shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. The strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go let's see go. these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Right, so I've cut off some scenes. So now we get into actual meeting beasts. See what they got for me. got a bot. Model MT-0 D-1-2. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Um. Come on, Jack, you literally just told me Jack. like a minute ago. It's like we're in there to like just chew and all this stuff, just like you know well, trying to make the deal and stuff right. and then next second he's just like I'm not sitting down. <laughs> Come on, got light now. Take a hit. And mm, no thank you, no. No. I'm Thanks, good. I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Right, let's see this baby. Let's see this baby. Let's see. Let's go. go. The flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. 
fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's great yeah, for spying. It's like invincible, you so can climb on walls. And also you can kill people as well. It's like a silent weapon. It'll have to do. Using your mind. Not exactly your mind, but look at that. Software, I guess. Fucker. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Oh, oh, oh. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? I'm not. I'm not good, cool, like, I face by just holding a gun by me. It's like, it's not going to work. Now that's good business sense. Right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. I still can't give you money. You fucking deaf! Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? Maybe he ain't dead? Not so funny no. now, punk. He's alive, well, huh? and kicking. Let's see. Let's see guards. what's going on. Let's so see. Gonna consider my offer now. Let's see who got the last laugh. Huh? Still got no money. So I have enough. Yeah, that's right. Bang, bang. bang. Right, so after we grab the gear, then we escape from the plan, basically kill almost everyone. Now we we'll see what's going on, we'll see probably the next thing is um, going to meet up with Dex. No see what's the next no plan really. No corporal strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah, cause I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. Ah, I love this town. The city of endless opportunity. And brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones, and you know how to use them, <laughs> you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bullet, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. It's a win win. You know, you could make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. What a dig way. What now, Jack? What now? And now I go back. Find Misty. We do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Catch a fright back there? Thought you wouldn't make it back? <laughs> Shit like that don't cross my mind. But I am grateful for coming through. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. 
brute force. You got some balls, Miss B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> that meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. That's how you done it. It's the first. So now hey we're back in Lizzie to and meet up this lady. mysterious lady who's supposed to give us thing. some insight of what exactly the mission, anything. what we exactly huh, need to do. I'll we'll see some background right. though, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. So back here again. Last time I wasn't exactly the a nice experience, I would say. <laughs> Almost die. Thanks, thanks to Jackie. Otherwise, I would be like done for. Fat line, straight. Get you something. So curious, the name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Two. Let me guess. It didn't last. No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Oof. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. What's on the menu? What can I drink? Yeah, loads of things. Go to a bar and have some monkey mint. Sure, I get them. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Big tipper. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Mm-hmm. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Down it, literally. That's well, almost. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Let's talk shop. Why, Why are we here? meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So... Nothing's what wrong. Really? Like Why don't you just tell me the truth? Like 
you. I just told you. Hello, Vanilla. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh, guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? I'm waiting. Top dog like you or Nobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because your Nobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo right, so this mission target is basically is the son of the Empire, the right? <laughs> the Steel Dragons, no Straight. In Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup. Or it's down Hitting the big dog, I see. <laughs> that flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff, but that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo, Dick. Like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? Well, basically another know witch know asshole, really. <laughs> to be At honest. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. 
Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, they can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Like anything else? Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? No, no, don't Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this business. Hmm. What kind of business? Studio help. I guess. She's a mox too. Mm -hmm. Besides, we go back uh, years. Mm -hmm. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But no, she's a mox. Not the latest member go. of your crew. Mm -hmm. Why does it keep like people so talking in the Try background? I don't get it. <laughs> Although it's like we in the room, we in the basement with no one still hearing people say, mm hmm. That's right, girl. <laughs> like, if you see her face, she would look at me and then looking back at her is like. Who the hell is this person? <laughs> Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop the inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Right, so if I get it right, so I, the idea is like I get into her memories in my head so I can kind of like, you know, playing the videos in my head just like what's been okay, going on me. and just sort of like a third, third person or like a CCTV camera is like no, looking still. overview of like what's been happening. Be That's actually like pretty cool really. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that in real life, if we have that, that I look okay. Actually, now, let's that set would the be optics crazy. and other sensory six look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam, get a lot of requests like this all the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning, crank up the orgasms. More like cut out all the other shit. 
Fucking business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Hey, you got you everything. guys. Hey, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, boy. We got it. Mold Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. What been See you soon. I'll wipe the cash out. on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. You fuck up and they come knocking on my door. Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Das. V. One sec. Thanks, Judy. Really. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. When to write, plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm, thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Think I see how you know so much about mm. Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. 
You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Oh, she testing me. She testing me. I don't know Ooh. what to say. Um, I don't know. It's it's my first gig. I feel like I need to kind of show some loyalty. I know that I'm copo, but I need to kind of keep it like you know, fuck everyone and that kind of thing. But no, I feel like as a first one, I I should he kind of keep me. it as now I'm doing you know, the same. show some loyalty at the beginning at least. I don't know. Is it this is the right? kind of option or not but let's go with that I don't want v? I don't no Evelyn it's not just about the money I thought you were a merc I thought it was always about the money not behind the back of someone who trusts me sorry fine I never asked but V hmm I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. Alright, Samurais. I'm We're gonna cut set. this episode right Ready here. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. If Don't you like this video or this series, please give us a like. If you haven't we'll subscribed to us, please do. And this is it. Great. This is Wong no out. Time. See you Same on the next one.